for taking the time to be with us today. Thank you. Now we're at a building 4718 in the X-ray calibration facility where we're joined by Jeff Kegley, who's going to tell us a little bit about his mission here at NASA. As part of the optics office and the science and mission systems directorate here at the center, we're chartered to test and evaluate the optics and subsystems related to large space telescope observatories. Well, tell us about some of the projects that you've seen come through here. The facility was specifically built to do the ground test and calibration of the Chandra X-ray Observatory. Since that time, we've done other X-ray telescopes, including the Solar B and uh, several solar X-ray imagers. So, Jeff, what makes this facility so unique? The facility is actually unique in two capabilities. It's the world's largest X-ray telescope calibration facility, and we have the unique capability of being able to test optics down to minus 440 degrees Fahrenheit. So to simulate the, the environment of space. Exactly. Well, I think part of the uniqueness of the facility itself is also in its design, and part of the reason is where Lori is right now. Well, Jeff, we've come outside now to probably the most eye-catching feature of this facility. Tell me what we're looking at here. Yeah, Lori, this is, we get asked about this a lot. This is our X-ray guide tube. In order to do a ground test or calibration of an X-ray telescope or the optics or detectors associated with that telescope, you have to have the X-ray source a long distance away so that the X-rays are nearly parallel when they get to the test article down here on this end. So how far away are we talking about here? This, this facility is actually over 1,700 feet long. Wow, and that actually leads into whatever you're testing then, right? Exactly. The X-ray telescope or its optics and detectors actually are in a vacuum chamber and clean room in the building. All right, and I think that's where Bill is. I think he's actually put on a suit and ready to go. Yes, Lori, I lost the coin toss, and so I'm dressed head to toe in a clean suit, and we're joined by Jeff again. And Jeff, explain to everyone why we're dressed like this. Testing X-ray optics or direct incident optics for telescopes or their detectors it's in, they're extremely sensitive to contamination, and so you have to work in a class 1,000 clean room like this and have an extremely clean vacuum chamber. So explain to everyone well, what these gentlemen are doing right now. We assemble hardware out here for test work and then in the clean environment, and then we're able to simply roll it into the vacuum chamber on these rail systems, and that's what these guys are doing. Then we close the large door on the chamber, and then we're able to simulate the environment we need to for the test. And dropping the temperature in that chamber is one of the unique capabilities here, right? Exactly. We have the capability in this chamber now to drop to, to minus 440 degrees Fahrenheit. And, and the end of the chamber is where the evacuated X-ray guide tube is. That long tube that Lori was at outside. Exactly. Now tell us a little bit about the big project you've got coming up. We're really excited about it. We, we're going to test the flight mirrors for the James Webb Space Telescope project over the next four years. We're currently, this summer, we're getting ready, and that's what we're working right now, getting ready to test the backplane structure to demonstrate a technology readiness level for that program also. Well, Jeff, we look forward to hearing about those results. Thanks very much for letting us come visit you today, and thank you for joining us on the program. For Lori Meigs, who is sitting comfortably in the conference room, I'm Bill Hubscher. Join us next time as we focus on Marshall.